Okay, guys, very quickly, I'm going to be learning everything about periodicity from the beginning to the end. I'll be taking you around periodicity one after the other. Let's start with our lesson one on introduction towards your periodicity. What are the bits? The complete series of classes, right? As far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awake. Everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move. Let's get back to class. Enjoy. First and foremost, what is periodicity? If you were asked, it's very simple. Periodicity is the repetition of properties. You see, all these words, they must enter into you. What is periodicity? The repetition of properties or characteristics. At what? Regular interval or in a repeating pattern within the periodic table. What do we call that? Periodicity. For the last time, one to what is periodicity? Periodicity is the repetition of properties, right? Or what? Characteristic. At regular intervals or a repeating pattern within the words, the periodic table. Now, let's say we have this, right? As the periodic table showing our first 20 elements. You can say that there are certain characters or patterns that kind of like repeat themselves. A good example, let's say, for instance, you are looking at your um, group one elements, right? Here is your hydrogen, one valence electron is so all you have there. Your lithium, one valence electron is there. That property is repeating. Your sodium, one valence electron. That property is what? Repeating. Your potassium, one valence electron. It is repeating. What is that periodicity? If you come down to oxygen, this guy has six valence electron. This guy has what, six valence electron. Those properties are repeating. What do we call that periodicity? Look at, for example, all these noble gases. All of them, they are outermost orbital. They are completely filled. What property is that? Periodicity. The repetition of properties. Let's say, for example, you decide to go this way, right? Oh, yes. You are not going um, via the groups. You are not going across the periods. So, across the periods, you can see, for example, let's say your sodium, your magnesium, your aluminum. What do they have in common? All of them, they have the same number of what? Shell, right? Three, three shells each. This guy here, um, your silicon, phosphorus, sulfur chlorine argon all of them have three shells right there what property is that periodicity the repetition of properties or characteristics at regular interval or in a what repeating pattern within the periodic table what do we call that it's called periodicity does it make sense if you get that very quickly with me i'd like you to note this that one of the sweet things about periodicity is that it brings about what is called um, your physical chemical properties where they where sometimes in some areas you see physical properties repeating themselves in some other instances you see chemical properties repeating themselves so the physical chemical properties of elements they depend on the what electronic configuration of its what atom and all of these they are what pets your what your periodicity <laughs> So when it comes to creating an account, right? This is the interface of the app that you can see. You can see create account and you can also see login. Now, what you do is this. As a new user, I don't have an account yet. So you don't need to go and log in. You go and create an account as a new user. Click on that create account button. Once you click, click on it, the next thing is put your phone number. Place in your phone number. You can see plus two, three, four. Then put your phone number, whatever your phone number is. If you don't have phone, you can use your mommy's phone number and put it there right or your daddy's phone number use it and then you can proceed and create the account so let's go so once you create the account you are putting your phone number what happened put your name your correct phone number please put your name if your name is um john what do you fill in there john and then your last name frank fill in john frank and what's your email address okay if your email address is um john frank John Frank 3 at gmail.com. You fill it there. And then your password. Very important. You create your own password. Six digits. You can use your phone number. The first six digits of your phone number. Or the last six digits of your phone number. Or you can. Okay. Since the, um, 
um, your name is John Frank. You can say, okay, well, my um, password name is John, right? John 1, 2, 3. And then you go and repeat the same thing. Confirm password. What will you type there? Your John what? 1, 2, 3. You can decide to view it all. Yes, or And then see whether you are doing the same thing, whether what you are doing is correct, right? All you have to do is just click the I button there and then you view it. And then come to select education. You are preparing for JAM or NYEC. In select education, there are four plans there. University, no, that's for people that are in university. Probably 100 level, 200 level, right? Yes, their classes are also there. Secondary, for those in secondary school, primary. But for JAM and WAEC, ah, ah, baba, click WAEC, JAM Pursuit TME, right? As the select education. Select level. You are not ready for Pursuit TME, you are preparing for JAM and WAEC, right? Okay, click on the word JAM and what WAEC. And then create your account. Two seconds. Pass. You don't enter. It will load and then it will open for you. And it will tell you, welcome, John, right? Your classes are now what? Ready. What do you do? Start learning. If you get that very quickly with me, I'd like you to note this, that when we're looking at periodic law, I gave you periodic law according to Mendeleev, right? And then we now look at your modern periodic law, right? According to who? Henry Moseley. Now, first and foremost, I'd like you to note this very quickly with me and never forget that the outer electron configurations of atoms of elements they have the ability to reoccur how periodically outer electron configuration outer electron configuration if you look at this guy now your carbon has four valence electron right the outer electronic configuration there is ending with four this guy silicon is ending with four what do you call that it is your periodicity are you getting it now beautiful and don't forget this very quickly with me that if they ask you again what is periodicity I've given you the definition. It is the repetition of your what your properties or characteristics at certain interval along the what the periodic table. That's what we call your what your periodicity. You may choose to say, okay, oh, sir, periodicity also refers to the property of an atom that reoccur periodically. So all those properties in an atom that have the ability to keep showing up periodically, what do you call that? It is called periodicity. And very interestingly, you must note this, that any property of an atom that varies within the electron configuration, any property of an atom, you will see it first. After a while, probably as you are moving across the period, you are not seeing it again, you are not see it. They are that, that, that um, consistency in the way they are kind of showing up. What do you call that property? It is called your what? Your periodicity. And I'd like you to note this very quickly. That when we're looking at periodicity, right? Within the periodic table. So there's what is called your periodic properties. What do you call it? Periodic properties. So those periodic properties are the things that we show periodicity. And what are they? They include the following. Number one is called your atomic size. So atomic size is a periodic property. Number two is called atomic volume. Atomic volume is a periodic property. Why? Because if you show periodicity. Number three is called your ionic radius. Number four is called your ionization energy. Number five is called your electron affinity. Number six is called electronegativity. And then number seven is called your electropositivity. You see, all these things are the things that we're going to be dwelling and looking at one after the other. Your atomic size, your atomic volume, your ionic radius very important your ionization energy your electron affinity your electronegativity and what electro what positivity out of these seven of them there is one that mm, we don't really deal with it very very much that is your what your atomic what volume we're just going to scratch it small but you see the rest we are going to look at them in detail so the next class after this class, I'm going to be learning your what's your atomic size. Explain everything there. Look at all the jam as well as the what why pass questions from the beginning to the end under that. Does it make sense? Do you understand this? Give me the periodic properties that we have. Atomic size, atomic volume, ionic radius, ionization energy, electron affinity, electronegativity, and what's electro what's positivity. It must be part of you. Yes, now you are the talk. Now you are the refer to. <laughs> Now that you have created your accounts, right, for you to start learning, what do you do? Okay, you can see that your use of English is there, mathematics is there, biology is there, physics is there, chemistry is there. Your classes are organized, they are all there for you, right? What do you do? Okay, um, 
I want to start learning biology. So click on the biology. Immediately you click on it. Living organisms. That's chapter one, right? Oh, yes. That's strictly to your jam syllabus. And what happened? Let's say, for example, um, you want to watch your class on cell and probably cell structure, right? What happened is that you click on it. Immediately you click on it, you see all the classes will display. History of cell, types of cell, cell of the and all of that. Okay, sir. I want to watch history of cells. You click on the history of cell immediately. Hello, friends. Your class will start playing for you. It's easy and not. It will start playing for you easy and direct. And what happened? We can even choose to make it full screen. Right? Make it full screen. What happens? You are not learning and you are enjoying your classes. In fact, you may choose to say, okay, I want to download my classes. In fact, you can fast forward, you can take it backwards, you can pause, you can rewind, anyone you want to do. You can even say, oh, sir, I want to download my classes, right? Probably you um, use night up just to click on download buttons. When you click on download button, you see the download. Before you know what will happen, the download will start what loading. As it start loading, you can see it is moving. Tia, 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 tia. <laughs> and then it's the entire phone. Are you getting it now? You can now go and start watching your words, your downloaded classes. You can download as many classes as possible as you want to download. Now, you can even choose to say, okay, no, Sada Selo, the notes underneath it is the same thing for everything. I want to download my notes. All you have to do is click on the words, the download for your notes. Before you know what is happening, fia, it has entered your phone. You may choose to come to the notes, right? Under the characteristics of living things, let me open the notes and read the notes and go through the past questions. So you see, well organized and structured notes direct to the points. Focusing on your syllabus for you. There are past questions for you in abundance. You see, you have your past questions here. You can choose to say, okay, I want to zoom it in, right? And then the same thing for all subjects. And you are following. The answers are there. Number one answer is B. Why is the answer B? It is explained for you in details. Every singular thing. And then you are following your classes. You, then you are done with that. You come to the next. You see your notes. Everything structured and organized to the core. In fact, at the end of the day, there is a blow kiss for you. Mwah, you have done well. Get out you too much. Everything is structured and organized for you in the app. Right? And yeah, you can now choose to say, okay, sir, what about um chemistry classes or physics classes? You can do same. Use of English, all of them, they are there. When you click on your chemistry classes, what happens? Separation of missions and physics. All of them are in line with your uh, jam syllabus. Chemical combination, right? It just goes straight, you see? Chapter 1 alone has 39 videos. 39. You sit yourself down, down and you start learning. And you are following all of them one after the word order. Does it make sense? Are you with me? Well, you want to access your download classes. All you have to do is just scroll down right on your home interface. Go to your access your download um, classes. Start now. You start. You see them, right? In fact, you may even choose to go and practice CBT, right? Or pass question. Let's say, for example, I go to my CBT, the one that has to do with my um um my biology. Then I want to take all the questions on that cell. Probably your um YX cell or the jam question on it, right? Just to click on it. So you see, all the questions are there. There are 40 questions there for you already. All of them on that cell. What happened? Which of the following cell inclusion can destroy other cell organelles? Probably you now say, oh, some answer is like slice or some more. You choose it, you go to next like that. At the end of the day, you see your answer, see your corrections. All of these things are in the LearnLift app directly for you. Are you with me? So as far as your jam 2025 is concerned, my dear, you don't have an excuse whatsoever to have anything less than 300. Are you with me? All your classes are available for you. All you have to do, start learning now. Download the LearnLift app now. Now, if you get that very quickly with me, let's look at some past questions here very quickly. First and foremost, look at this beautiful question that was brought in Jam 2018, question 7. The question of the way says, let's go. Which of the following properties of atom exhibits periodicity? So, which one we exhibit periodicity? Do you see periodicity in density and pressure? Density and pressure periodicity, no. Option B says, atomic size... 
and ionization energy. Correct. Atomic size. Just talking about atomic radius. Ocean ceases. Melting point and boiling point. You can't use this guy to determine what periodicity is not consistent. And then ocean DC volume and weight. That's not true. What is the answer? Atomic size and ionization energy. Ocean what P become the correct answer. Very simple, easy, and direct. Does it make sense? If you get that very quickly with me, answer this question for us. Wyatt 2022, question 9. Look at the sweet question that was brought in 2022. Which of the following does not exhibit periodicity? Which one will not exhibit periodicity? Option A say electronegativity, it will exhibit what periodicity. So this guy cannot be the what answer because it will exhibit periodicity. Option B says ionization energy, it will exhibit periodicity. So it cannot also be the what answer. Option C says ionic radius, it will definitely exhibit what periodicity. So it cannot be the answer. And then option D says atomic weight. Atomic weight is what we are going for. Option what D become the correct answer. Does it make sense? If you get a very fast answer, this question for us. Jam 2012, question 17. We're given this sweet question that says the term periodicity. What does it refer to? It refers to option A, the repeated reoccurrence of specific properties of elements based on electron configuration. Thank you, sir. You are making sense. Option B says the change in an element's atomic mass over time. The change in an element atomic mass over time. That's not really what we are referring to there. Option C says the chemical stability of elements in a given period is not true. And then option D says the consistent size of atoms in the periodic table is not true. What is periodicity there? The one that I explained it is the repeated reoccurrence of specific properties or characteristics of elements, right? Based on what electron configuration option, what A become the correct answer. Path. you are out of there very very easy simple and direct if you get this very quickly with me this is just the beginning to this class we have a lot of classes under this topic called periodicity i'll see you in the next class in that next class we're going to start with the first periodic property and that is called your what atomic radius atomic radius is also called your atomic size and that's what we're going to be looking at in the next class but for the now please i beg you Go through my notes. Very, very important. There are past questions. They go and destroy all of them. Practice CBT. Keep practicing CBT as much as you can practice in the Learn Lift app. And always, always, always invite a friend. Don't just enjoy the classes alone. Tell somebody. Tell somebody today. Tell somebody about the Learn Lift app. I'll see you in the next class. Sorry now. Peace out. Bye. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the Learn Lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.